Hi, I'm Katie, the CX Tech Cisco Voice Product Manager, and I want to spend a couple of seconds explaining to you the various part numbers in the 7900 series Cisco line. Let's start with the beginning. The first phones that Cisco recommended were the 7940s and 7960s. Seems pretty straightforward. There were two line and four line phones with a pretty cool big display on the phone. Shortly after that, Cisco released the 7940Gs and 7960Gs. Like most people, you probably think that that G stands for gig, just like it does on their Cisco switch line. Unfortunately, G has nothing to do with gig when it comes to telephones. It actually represents G for global icon, meaning that the buttons on the phone, they don't actually have words. So instead of saying the word messages, it actually has a picture of an envelope instead. After that, Cisco came out with the 7941G-GE and the 7961G-GE. This is where the GE actually represents gig ethernet, meaning that the phones do have a gig port on the back. So now we've brought up gig, we've brought up Gs. How about a color phone that has a gig? on the back. This is actually where Cisco gets a little squirrely and the color phones, the 7945G and 7965G, really do have a gig port even though they drop the GE from the end of the part number. So if you're interested in receiving a quote on any Cisco IP phone models, please give your CX Tech sales rep a call and they can provide you with the information on the industry-leading equal to new phones with our lifetime warranty.